G'day. So, I apologize for these uh, close quarters, but you are inside my sauna. And as you can see with the red light that's uh, shining down here, this is my infrared sauna. I actually prefer the infrared sauna. All you know, dry, wet saunas are absolutely fine, but I prefer the infrared sauna because it penetrates a little bit deeper below the epidermic layer to really work on my joints, my cartilage, my connective tissue. That's what I find personally. But sauna, wow, benefits, so many, so many. Number one, it actually helps decrease all cause mortality. So if you don't want to die early, this is one of the things that you want to do. They've uh, had several Finnish studies that show that you can decrease your all cause mortality or the likelihood of you dying from ailments, obviously not car crashes or accidents, by up to 47%. Depends how often that you come in here. Um, so I think it was about 25, 27%, something like that, don't quote me, if you go in a sauna about three times a week. If it's around five to seven times a week for about 20 to 30 minutes, you can decrease your all-cause mortality by about 47%, which is huge. In Finland, they have as many saunas as they do TVs. So people really you know, value the benefits of sauna. So sauna can help increase heat shock proteins, which help repair damaged or folded proteins or you know DNA in your body. It can help detox or collate. So as an example, um, I did have a lot of metal in my mouth from just dental work many, many years ago. And uh, I found during some uh, testing that I had a lot of heavy metal in my, in my system. So until I got my teeth fixed, and I still do it now obviously, um, I was just in a sauna all the time trying to collate a lot of the heavy metals out of my system. And regardless, you think of the pollutants that we're exposed to today, um, so we're we're constantly surrounded by these pollutants that we want to get out of our body. And sometimes there's heavy metal contaminants in the food that we eat, that we consume. So always want to try to detox and the skin being the biggest organ, we can sweat and help detox that out of our body. You can actually burn calories. So this is like um, an exercise mimic. I'm not saying that you should replace exercise with a sauna but you can actually burn through calories um, in the sauna as well. This is what I think as well, um, but this is me personally. And I know when I've lived in hotter climates, I don't feel like I need to eat as much. I don't have as many cravings. And I think that is from an evolutionary standpoint where the, the universe doesn't think, okay, we need insulation because it's cold. You have to consume calorie dense foods. But if we'll spend more time in heat, we don't think that way. That, that's, that's how I feel anyway. Um, saunas have been shown as well to help with blood flow, help with testosterone optimization. It's funny, so has cold thermogenesis, but we can go through that a little bit later. Um, but I find it's very relaxing. Uh, I always start with hot. I'll do sauna probably about five, five to seven days a week when I'm at home and I'll always finish with cold. So I'll start in here for about 30 minutes. Um, sometimes I'm reading while I'm in here. Sometimes I'm meditating. Sometimes I'm stretching. I usually multitask and then I'll always finish with cold. I'll do this in the morning. Usually I'll exercise first, do some form of cardio. Uh, I'll meditate before that and then do some form of cardio. And then I'll come in the sauna and then I'll finish with cold. And dependent on the year, I may use red light therapy, but you know, that's if I cannot get the restorative red light from the sun because it's winter, then I'll do red light therapy in my home. I actually have red light, big red light panels, uh, just so I can set my circadian rhythm. It's great for collagen production, as is this, this is great for your skin. That's what I find, you're detoxing, you're cleansing.